I mean, Friedman to me is the the ultimate economist of the 20th century. I mean, he's the economist who I think best combined theoretical rigor, uh, well, a grasp of the empirical data. I mean, he wasn't the, you know, he wasn't a great econometrician or mathematician. I, I, I don't think, I don't think he's in that sort of the le- that sort of league, but he he's the person who best combined the theory with the evidence, with the communication ability. I mean, he was just a master at that. And so even though, I mean, there's a lot of debate about just how right he was about you know, monetarism and those policy, that policy recommendation with the constant money supply growth rule, there's a lot of debate about that. But to me, I mean, Friedman is the, I mean, if I could be any one economist uh, from history, it would be, I mean, this is going to sound odd, but it's probably a tie between Friedman and Keynes. I think they were both great in their own way. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I like about Keynes was he was so influential in the policy circles in Britain. I think that was quite impressive. Yes. And then obviously he transformed true. economic theory. I mean, you, you, there's a big debate about the Keynesian legacy, but he's, he's, he had a sure. huge impact too. Um, yeah. So, so look, yeah, I certainly can't deny in terms of the 20th century, you know, I guess those two would be the most influential economists of the 20th century. Um, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, we're, we're going to talk about inflation, but I think in, in my article, um, I don't actually have it uh, close to hand, but I do quote b- uh, both those people that you mentioned, I, <laughs> yeah. uh, Freeman and Keynes, you know, they're on the same page, at least to some extent on inflation and, you know, it not being a good thing. And something that's actually a policy um, outcome, basically, whether you think it's intentional or unintentional, that's a, you know, that's a separate issue. But it is something that that's under the control of the policy levers. Um, and they both agreed on that. I think, you know, the third person I quoted, um, who is my favorite economist of the 20th century is Ludwig von Mises. Because um, I would, uh, you, as you mentioned, Keynes was, you know, certainly very original. I'm, you know, I personally think he's wrong for the most part, but he was certainly very original. Um, that's probably where Friedman isn't. I mean, Friedman's not on that scale of originality, whereas Mises and Keynes are actually, for me, the two most original economists of the 20th century. But I would certainly agree that, you know, even though Friedman and, and Mises were certainly very close in the way they kind of viewed economics, not completely, but, you know, the way they viewed economics and obviously what their policy prescriptions were, were, you know, certainly not light years away. Um, I would certainly agree that Friedman certainly was a more powerful communicator to a broader audience or to the policymakers. So, you know, I agree with you with the caveat of like, you know, Mises and Keynes as the two most original economists of the 20th century. Right. And, they, and uh, all three of them obviously talk about inflation. You know, that, that was an important topic. 